Hey girly, welcome to my video. Today I'm using the James Charles by Morphe palette and I'm gonna be creating three looks with one palette. I post makeup tutorials if you're new. My name is Emily, hit that subscribe button and welcome to the family. Okay, so the first look is this purple smoky eye and I'm gonna be starting off with the shade Escape and I'm using the E22 brush, this is by Morphe as well. And I'm gonna be packing the shade onto my lid only, do not go above onto the crease, only on the lid and make sure you pack it on and make sure it's as dark as possible. The next shade I'm gonna be using is called Single and I'm gonna be using the JH34 brush to apply this onto my crease. I'm simply gonna use this lighter shade of purple just to blend out that darker one onto my crease and get rid of any harsh lines. Also guys, at the top, I marked a little X on the palette on every shade that I use so you guys can follow along. Next, I'm taking the shade Love That and I'm using the JH37 brush to apply this onto my crease only. And also you guys, this is gonna have some fallout but it's totally fine, we can fix this afterwards. So now I'm going to take the previous brush that I used with the shade Single and I'm not going to grab any product whatsoever. I'm just going to use this to blend the two shades together onto our crease and a little bit onto our brow bone. But we're not going to take this all the way up there. Blending takes a while girl, but don't worry. It's worth the results. Just trust the process and keep blending Now I'm using a clean brush. This is a JH35 You can use any fluffy brush and I'm using this to clean out that top area of my brow bone So that it looks smoky and I don't have any harsh lines Now I'm taking the shade Escape again and I'm using the E22 brush again just to pack some more onto our lid because I know that we applied so many other colors and it kind of disappeared. So yeah, don't be afraid to go back in and pack some more of that eyeshadow onto your lid. Now for the shimmery shade, I'm going in with Artistry and I'm using the JH41 brush to apply this. But if you want better results, I honestly recommend that you use your finger because it gives the best results for shimmery eyeshadows. And that is exactly what I do in this video. I use one layer with a brush and the next layer I apply with my finger. Now I'm going in with the shade Single and I'm using the same brush, JH34, and I'm gonna be applying this onto my lower lash line. And I'm also applying some of the shade Love That with the JH37 again. And I'm just gonna darken it up with the shade Escape and the E22 brush as well. Now for this brow bone part, I'm gonna be applying the shimmery shade called Ring Light and I'm using the JH42 to apply this because it's very small. Now I'm going in with the clean brush that I used earlier and I'm gonna use that to mix those shades together. And now I'm going in with my Believe Beauty concealer and I'm just gonna be applying some of this on that outer area because I want this to look as sharp as possible. This is optional though, if you don't want this, it's totally fine. And that is the end of this look. Thank you for staying this long so far and don't forget to subscribe if you're enjoying this tutorial so far and comment down below. For this second makeup look, I'm gonna be going in with the shade Punch Me and I'm using the M441 brush, it's also by Morphe and I'm applying this all over my crease and all over my lid. Next, I'm using the shade Mary and I'm using the M573 brush and I'm gonna be applying this onto my crease. Also, make sure you apply this below the previous shade because we still want it to be noticeable on top of the shade Mary.
The eyelashes that I'm wearing on this look, I actually made myself with some pink eyeshadow. So if you guys want me to do a tutorial on how to make these colorful eyelashes, leave a comment down below that says pink lash and I will know that you want a tutorial on the eyelashes. I'm going back in with the first brush that I used with the shade Punch Me, but I'm not grabbing any product. I'm just using this brush to blend those two shades together so that I create a smoky effect. And I'm gonna be packing some more of the shade Mary now, and I'm gonna apply this exactly the same onto my crease. I'm just building up the intensity because I don't want this to look like it was harshly applied. After I applied that shade for the second time, I went back in with the brush that I used the shade Punch Me With, with no product again, and I'm just using it to blend the shades again. Now I'm using the shade Sister, and I'm going in with the Sephora 14 brush. I'm applying this onto my lid. Also, you guys, give this video a thumbs up if you're enjoying it. It lets me know that you like my tutorials, please. And also, if you haven't subscribed, please do it now. Like right now, I'll give you a second. Now I'm going back in with the brush M573 that I used with the shade Mary. And I'm just using this to blend those shades together so we have no harsh lines. Now I'm going in with the shade Ring Light and I'm using the M213 brush to apply this onto my brow bone. Now I'm gonna be applying my pink eyelash. Don't forget to comment down below, pink lash, if you want me to create a tutorial on how to make these. Now I'm taking my Believe Beauty concealer and I'm gonna be cutting out the outer edges of my eyeshadow. If you guys don't wanna do this, you don't have to, this is optional. For my bottom lash, I'm just gonna be using the shade Skip and I'm going in with the M432 brush by Morphe. And I'm just going to be blending this out onto my lower lash. For my inner corner, I'm also applying the shade Ring Light with the brush M213. I love this. It gives it a big pop onto my eyes. And that is the finishing look, you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial for this makeup look. If you've made it this far, comment the word strawberries because of the pink. And I'll know that you watched it this far. Welcome to the third tutorial. I'm going in with the shade No Beans and I'm using the E17 brush to apply this. I'm only applying this onto the outer area of my eyelid. Do not go onto your crease, just your eyelid. And we're gonna also apply a little circle like this onto our inner corner. Also only onto the eyelid. Do not go above like I said before. The second shade I'm going in with is Code James and I'm using the JH38 brush. I'm gonna be applying this on top of the shade No Beans very tightly so that we don't make a mess because the shade is very bright and it can get very messy. I'm also applying this onto my inner corner. Now I'm going in with the shade Tune and I'm using the JH32 brush. I'm only gonna be applying this to set my concealer at the top area of my eye, above my crease. So do not touch the other colors, only on your crease. Next, I'm going back in with the previous brush and I'm just using it to blend out the shade Code James. I'm gonna be blending this upwards, but not all the way to my brow bone, only onto my crease. Now I'm applying the shade 10% off with the JH33 palette and I'm applying this in the middle of the shade No Beans and Code James. And I'm going back in with the brush that I used for Code James just to mix those together. I know this sounds very confusing. I'm sorry, but if you guys have any questions, don't forget to just comment them down below and I'll answer as best as I can. Mm -hmm. 
Now I'm using the shade Tune again just to blend all of those shades together. It's okay to go towards the center because we're going to be applying a different shade on there. Now I'm going back in with the shade No Beans just to apply some more because we removed some of it with the other eyeshadows. And for the color that's going to go on the center is called Face and I'm using the Sephora 15 flat brush to apply this. And I'm going to take this all the way to the top but we're going to mainly focus this on the bottom area which is our lid. Make that a lot more brighter and as you get rid of some of that product you apply this upwards so that you have some on your brow bone as well. After we apply the shimmery shade, I'm going to be going in with the shade No Beans and I'm applying some onto the sides so that it blends with the shimmery shade. And then I'm also going with Cold James with the shade Tune as well. And that's just going to blend those together so that we get that shimmery effect but it looks blended. And I'm also going in with my Believe Beauty Concealer just to sharpen out those outer edges. You do not have to do that, it's optional but I love to do it in every makeup look. And for my bottom lash line, I'm going in with Code James and then I'm going in with the shade Tune. And after that, I'm gonna be going in with the shade 10% off just to blend all those shades together. After that, I'm going in with the shade Face and I'm using the JH42 brush for my inner corner. And that is the end of this video. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button. And I'll see you in my next video.